yo 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 what's up everybody silky creamy in the house so glad you folks are here welcome in and welcome back uh today we're going to be doing another review of phoenix artisan accoutrements as always uh we have a very large selection here in the house and so uh we're gonna get cracking pretty quite soon but anyway first off i want to welcome those that are new my name is silky creamy um you may have uh seen me in the movies no i'm just playing um uh i do very niche review videos of uh, mainly shaving products and some skincare products i basically take a deep dive uh, look at the product we take a look at the label the packaging and then the actual product and then um, i give you my first impression on the scent or the whatever product i'm reviewing and then we will learn from the artisan who made the product um basically the inspiration behind it and then what is exactly inside of the scent and hopefully this video will um, or my videos will help you understand a bit more about the product and uh, maybe you um, have been thinking about picking it up or maybe you're even not aware of it um, but at least it gives you a little bit more um, insight into the product and um, yeah give you an idea whether to pick it up or maybe pass um, on it uh, so anyway uh, for those of you that are um, subscribers um, or regulars uh, you're simply sexier and better and you know it really appreciate it and um, you guys are what make this channel um, you know how special it is you know you, this channel is special because of you uh, really truly um, not just saying that you know you know how much I care about you folks and um, you know how much um, you guys add to these videos um so much so much help um and we're going through this together right so anyway um i appreciate you and um let's get cracking so today we are going to be reviewing lo haiku from paa so i have no idea what to expect i don't know what this is um <laughs> Uh, there is no hints here, uh, at least for me, of what this is going to be. So, uh, very simple label. There are only two words on there. And you have some sort of robot monster uh, that is being controlled by remote control. There is the rece uh, receptor or receiver. And, um, yeah, it's got pointy eyes and a interesting voice box there looks like heavy metal all around him and in the back very interesting not quite visible but it is now for me the cube so that's very cool okay so there's not much else going on here I have no idea what this is. Anyway, CK6, I'm not going to spend time on CK6. You can look at my previous videos. And oh my God, look at this one. Holy Canyon Peaks. Holy butter, moist. Holy, look at this, guys and gals. Look how moist that butter is. Wow, I haven't seen a peak like this ever in a um, CK6 tub. And it's really a box of chocolates with CK6. I mean, it's never the same. It's always different, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Man, look how wet this looks. Wow. All right, let's take a first scent. I'm very interested to know. Hmm. All right, so we got um, definite musk. This is musk with, holy smokes, this is really strong musk. This has got to be a dupe or um, like an aftershave um, homage. Oh, I just, this is just really, really musky, which is really nice. Um, it makes me think 70s. 
Um, man, nostrils are tingling. Tingling a ling. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's citrus in here or if it's just really overpowering musk in here. But it is very, very pungent. Um, scent strength on this is a eight. Um, this is very, very strong. This has got a very strong musk um, scent to it. Um, almost like uh, um, black bot, but stronger than black bot. Um, I reviewed another uh, musky scent from PAA, which was a really strong, nice musk scent. This is more of in your face, uh, where black bot was just a beautiful musk. This is a little bit more rougher, I would say. It is definitely stronger. Uh, it's not a horrible scent, but it's definitely, um, yeah, it's it, it's a classic PAA scent that, uh, you know, you never wear out in public um, or, you know, unless you're having fun, right? Uh, but you'll wear it home and it just um, evokes an experience and, and, and um, you know, uh, memories of something. And so, which is amazing. I just love it. It's just very experiential. Um, you know, just it just invokes experiences. Anyway, let's go ahead and read from the website. I am very, very interested to see what's in here. All right, so Low Haiku. Due to popular demand, I once more decided to release Low Haiku and in our ever popular Formula CK6. The timing truly seems to be right now. I really think we jumped the gun back in 2014 with our first release of Low Haiku. Wow. This is an old scent. Um, but being that 2019 is the year of the musk, I believe our collective noses are finally where they need to be for this behemoth of a classic musk. The scent of low haiku is the stuff that legends are made of, of a true homage to high karate. Oh, no wonder. This is high karate. I should have known, I should have known with the haiku. Is this Japanese? Oh, and hi, and hi karate and haiku. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Anyway, um, man, hi karate is um, legendary uh, musk. Uh, he goes, um, I would put hi karate in the same family as Old Spice and English leather, all classics in their own right. But um, hi karate was different. And he put that in bold. I think of it as the goofy younger brother of Black Belt that got the job done in a leisurely fashion and never took itself too seriously. Top notes, lavender, bergamot, lemon, rosemary, anise. Yeah, so I picked up that citrus. Middle notes are geranium, fern, carnation, cinnamon, cedar, heliotrope. And the base notes are oak moss, vanilla, ton tonka bean, amber, and musk. Typically, we as wet shavers collect the classic scents that our dads and granddads wore, but this is probably more like a classic that your older brother wore. A classic nonetheless, and a musk everyone should have in their shave arsenal. As you might expect, I decided to rewire Low Haiku with some much needed upgrades. In the Splash and EDP, you'll find Indian, uh, Bedillium, Resin, and Willow Bark Extract, both superstars in their own right. Google it. Indian bedellium known as Gugul, which is myrrh in Hindi, has been widely used in um, Ayurvedic medicines since ancient times for its powerful therapeutic properties. Okay, so it's going into um, the um, EDP and what else was it? Was it the um, after, after shape? Yeah, so the splash. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll keep going because we're going to see a splash. Uh, yeah, Google is a gum resin obtained from the Google tree and contains various plant essential oils and steroid compounds. Holy smokes. Google resin also contains a potent compound known as gogosterone, which has been used to support skin health. It has been widely used in Ayurvedic me medicine for skin-related problems. What better an additive for an aftershave? white billow bark 
Willow bark contains salicylic acid derived from salicin, which helps to thwart ingrown hairs. In addition to salicin, willow bark extract is also high in tannins, phenolic, uh, or phenolic acids, flavonoids, and various minerals, all of which help soothe the skin and aid in cell regeneration, allowing for a more youthful, refreshed complexion. Below, we've broken down the major ingredients. Okay. This is pretty cool. So, um, I, I won't, I won't play the video. I'm not sure about copyright, but, um, here they have the, um, on the website, they actually have the actual commercial for high karate, which if you've never seen it, like you need to watch these commercials. Um, you know, Douglas and, um, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, Matt Pisarsic had the, I Latherby uh, shaving series. That is really interesting stuff, guys. If you guys haven't seen that, it's I'd, so I apostrophe D, so like I would, I'd lather be shaving. Um, check that out. They had a, uh, an episode about uh, high karate and uh, showed a bunch of different commercials there. But anyway, um, look at the color in this, guys. Super dark, very interesting. Um, yeah, very cool. Can't even read the words on the back. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Okay, he was talking about they had a French lavender with one hydrosol. There's that Google, G U G A L, resin, and the willow bark act, um, extract. So anyway, let's open it up and take a looky looky. I don't feel like this is going to be epic. Just epic musk. Musk. Do we have a orifice reducer? We do. Which is fine, but as everyone knows, I love no orifice reducer. Just let it flow, baby. Let it flow. Oh, this is musk. Holy musk. So this is much more powerful than uh, Blackbot. Blackbot was milder. A sweeter um, very beautiful musk scent this is more in your face um, for sure this is definitely um, yeah a monster musk so anyway I hope you folks enjoyed this was a pretty cool uh, scent to, to review usually what happens with PA but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed and as always take care of one another out there be safe you guys okay be safe out there Delta variant is running and uh, we need to be, be, be safe and be vigilant out there. Get vaccinated if you can. Uh, I am. And um, just give yourself a, a better shot of, of um, being healthy and not um, helping to spread the disease so, or the virus. So as always, take care. And as always, peace.